You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. I've had a bunch of people on the show. I believe that everyone who tilts towards uh, the right wing, basically, for lack of a better word, believes that China is on the brink of some sort of a civil war. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you follow geopolitics very closely as well. Do you have an opinion? I would, you know, this this kind of data reports, its uh, analyses comes out from the West. Okay. And the West always, all their, if you look over a time, they believe that first the Soviet Union was a big threat. And then after that it became Russia is useless. It's about to collapse. It's now they're still saying that. Similarly for China, they're saying that there's a lot of trouble in China. There's trouble in Xinjiang. There's trouble in Tibet. The economy is going, economy is going down, etc., etc. Maybe it is going down. And maybe Xi Jinping doesn't. If he would be really worried if in a totalitarian society you have riots or you have food riots or you have this. I don't think they've reached that stage, but supposing for argument's sake, this is how it happens. Then the totalitarian state is, is more worried about this happening than we would here. Hmm. Because we are used to disorder of a kind. We're used to trouble. We're used to strikes here and there. Not in that state. So their reactions would be much stronger, much more um, cruel, if I may use the word. Yeah. So we're, we're calling, I'm, calling the trouble. So uh, that kind of a thing can be a start point. But I don't think China is going to, uh, big countries just don't die away. Mm. Okay. They don't die away. China is a civilization also. They may have got communism now, but one thing about the, the Chinese is that they don't think autocracy is a bad thing. They've had, they've had rulers who've been autocrats all along. The Hans and everybody You have to explain what an autocrat is. <laughs> autocrat is, is, a, is a person with power and authority and money. And he has his own way of dealing with things. Yes or no kind of situation. The reason I have to make you do these things is this is the charm of the show. <laughs> you need to be able to speak to 12-year-olds about these things. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, go on. So, uh, so they're used to this. Harsh uh, rules. Which the West doesn't understand. But their resilience or the Russian resilience is much more than they think it is. Mm. Okay. Remember uh, how many days the Russians, the Soviets fought against Hitler in St. Petersburg? Mm. A year and a half, I think. Bread and water. That's all they had. Mm. And Hitler had to retreat. Now, that is the Russian strength. The belief in themselves. We will not give in. That is why Putin is continuing till today. Mm. Because he has that string. The Chinese also have that string. So let's not... Uh, discount them. Discount them. So you're saying these narratives come out of the West. Uh, it's probably some sort of propaganda. But China didn't come so far just by being lucky. Yeah. There's a lot of thought, a lot of mental strength and a lot of strategy that's gone and, in. And, and yeah, and, and a lot of aid from um, from the West, funnily yeah. enough. Yeah. They made right. them rich okay. for their own reasons. New clips released at the same time that a podcast releases. This is TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe.